It is day nine of the 12 days of COVID Christmas, and today we are talking about how to turn one of the more mundane tasks of the holiday season into something that will bring you a little bit of joy this year. Before I dive in, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe. If you have not done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified anytime a new video comes out. We've got some more fun things in store for you guys for the remaining days of the 12 days of COVID Christmas. So don't forget to hit subscribe right now uh, so you don't miss any of it. So the other day I got lost in the vortex that can be Instagram <laughs> stories and we've all been there at some point in our lives. And someone I follow was talking about how she's trying to find joy in the little moments this holiday season and just look for like little moments that bring her joy throughout the day. And I thought that was a really nice little sentiment. And it's something that we talked about in the day six video, which if you haven't watched yet, I would really suggest doing that. And I really took it to heart, you know, when she said that about finding joy in those otherwise um, moments that might pass you by or little mundane moments. And I wanted to translate that to the 12 days of COVID Christmas. So I think for all of us, I know for me, uh, wrapping of the gifts can be one of those tasks that feels very daunting and very overwhelming and oftentimes <laughs> gets put off because it's daunting and can be overwhelming. So the ninth day of the 12 days of COVID Christmas is what I'm calling Marathon Day. I have turned on Hallmark Channel. I am marathoning Hallmark Christmas movies. I've got a cup of coffee and I am going to just sit here and wrap all of the Christmas gifts while marathoning Hallmark Christmas movies. So it is, it's a marathon day and that's what we're calling it. Marathon wrapping, marathon Christmas movie watching. We're doing it. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because Hallmark Christmas movies bring me joy. And now we're going to add a little joy into the wrapping, which is normally one of those things that doesn't bring as much joy. So that's what I'm doing. I encourage you to do the same with those holiday tasks that maybe you don't quite enjoy. Maybe it's, maybe it's wrapping for you too, but I encourage you to pair that activity with something that does bring you joy so that you can learn to embrace and find the joy in this holiday season in the little moments. But instead of just telling you that, because this would be the world's shortest YouTube video if I did, Probably not the world's shortest, but you know, wanted to give a few little wrapping tips and a few ideas to make your packages feel special this year. So I think we oftentimes focus so much on like what's inside the box, but I think the wrapping should be special as well because it's sort of that finishing touch. It shows that you have cared to give that little extra effort into wrapping it and making it look pretty. So what I do every year is I choose a wrapping paper, usually two different papers that coordinate together that are neutral but festive. And the reason I do that is because that way, when it's left over, I can use it throughout the year for whatever other occasion I need to wrap a gift. Someone's birthday, uh, a Father's Day, an anniversary, Mother's Day, whatever it might be, whenever I need to wrap a gift, I have wrapping paper on hand that's pretty and works for any holiday. So my favorite line is the Sugar Paper LA line that's at Target. And I always grab a couple from them because the other thing I love about that is they are great about having consistency in their papers from year to year. So they're not going to be the exact same, but they're going to coordinate. So they always have a white and gold paper every year. So I have had white and gold stripes from them. I've had white and gold polka dots. This year it's like white and gold little starburst things that are really pretty. 
and that works for whatever. What's nice about it is I know next year this white and gold will also coordinate with whatever other like more colorful paper they have. This year, which I'm probably going to go stock up on, total honesty, is this blue and white stripe that they have. But the color blue on this like matches our house perfectly and clearly obviously very neutral. I'm probably going to stock up before they sell out to have it for years. Um, so that's my second tip is when you're choosing wrapping papers, I like to choose papers that match my house because I try to wrap presents early. Um, you know, once I have everything in, just try to wrap it all and get it out. So I'm not saving it for the last minute. And if the gifts are sitting out under my tree, then they're going to match my house and match the rest of my decor. So I don't know if that's something that you guys focus on. I'd love for you to comment below if you are a neutral wrapping paper fan or a holiday, you know, holiday specific wrapping paper fan. So I'd love for you to comment and let me know what you prefer. But once I've got it wrapped, I always like to add a pretty ribbon. This one is my favorite. I personally love a wide like satin ribbon because it just flows kind of nicely and looks really pretty. So I tie a big bow. I like the cross like package design here. So where, you know, the ribbon comes from both directions. It takes a little bit more ribbon, but that's okay. I think it looks really pretty. And then I always tie a little something extra on it because again, best whip, and I like that. So these are just some cheap little ornaments I picked up at Target. I reuse them from year to year, total honesty. Um, you know, when we're done opening gifts, if we're like here at the house, I will pick up all the little ornaments and save them for next year. But uh, they're also really inexpensive. So if we, you know, give gifts to other people and they aren't at our house and they don't make their way back home, that's totally fine. So I love that idea. I also love the idea, this was something that my grandmother used to do, is she would every year get everyone a, a new Christmas ornament for their tree to, you know, start growing their ornament collection. And so one gift was always tied with, their new Christmas ornament for the year. So that's a great idea. If you are starting, you know, ornament collections, you can tie one gift with that special ornament for the year. Something else I love to do is just take Christmas tree trimmings. Just again, trim some branches off of the bottom of the tree, tie those onto the package. That always looks really festive. If you have, you know, holly or berries or something like that from outside, you can tie those on. Cinnamon sticks make a great addition. I actually love doing cinnamon sticks with the, if you caught day seven, I shared some festive holiday cocktails and uh, we candied some orange slices for one of the cocktails. And those candied orange slices would be great on top of a package as well. The only thing I would say about that is if you have pets, Maybe don't do candied orange slices, but um, yeah, that is really pretty. So using, you know, candied orange and cinnamon or Christmas tree trimmings and that's that. The gift tags, you know, I put as much effort into the gift tag as I do into the gift. I think that's really important. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be, I have these three guys done, but I got a little bit more wrapping to do. So I'm going to be marathoning Hallmark Christmas movies, wrapping gifts, enjoying some coffee, and just making it a slow day and not putting a lot of pressure on myself to do anything else. So we are five days out from Christmas. It is time to, <laughs> to get wrapped up here. Uh, five days left till Christmas. We've got three days left in the 12 days of COVID Christmas. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. I would love it if you commented below and told me what you do to wrap your gifts special every year. If you put big bows on them or um, if you home make your wrapping paper, some people do that and it always turns out really pretty. So let me know how you wrap your gifts below and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet. And I will see you tomorrow for day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm.